And folks, 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 we are live. Now, I'm not seeing nothing on my screen except... It should pop up soon. Okay, cool. Oh, is there... I forgot about delays. The little delay. I'm not used to delays anymore because... Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, dang. My phone was listening. I'm not used... Oh, Oh, okay. there we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm not used to delays anymore because of uh, caffeine. We are now streaming on caffeine forward slash yeah. XT Jones and uh, forward slash Baron J67. Please stop by. Yes, we Give are there. Follow. Yeah, support us. Support us. Support, so support us. Yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why are you yelling? Me. <laughs> me. Hey, but no, man, it, it's a trip. Like, caffeine, um, and that actually rolls into the first thing I wanted to really talk about is um, I know we've we've talked about the experience on caffeine and the simplicity of it. Um, well, my fear and what I've low-key noticed is people are trying to slowly make caffeine into Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is natural. Let's be honest. Everything always tends to form into the next. Like it, you know, when you, especially when you have something so successful as Twitch, yeah, you, you kind of don't want to stray too far from that success. Of like course. it's kind of hard. Like I, you know, oh, I'm a doctor, but I don't heal people. I make people sick. <laughs> like, Listen, like, I, I. With that, especially with that concept, you you almost it's you almost have to like compare it with Twitch, because yeah. everything is being compared, and everything in that realm is being compared to Twitch. I mean, there's just naturally there's things that we want. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna get into. That yeah, were started by Twitch to come to caffeine, but um, yes. the, I do understand the whole like oh people trying to make it Twitch. I don't want that. Necessarily, yeah, I, I really just want, don't want that. I just want super small, uh, yes, little things to happen that would make the experience on caffeine a lot easier. Not only for the viewer, but for yes. the, the 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 entertainer as well. And and that's the that's a huge thing. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank and you. the chat is open. You guys jump in with questions. Uh, right now, we're talking about caffeine and how people are. There's there's a slow push. And I can feel people trying to make it into Twitch, which isn't completely a bad thing. But the I want caffeine to stay caffeine, caffeine. at its core. The simpl- the simplicity of caffeine is the beauty of it. Like that's that's what truly creates that space yeah. that I love and enjoy. Um, now, dope situation that happened with me on caffeine um, yesterday while I was streaming. Um, I actually. So somebody jumped into my my stream, and they said, um, you know, I did my typical intro. Hey, how's it going? Da, da, da. I'm just running Assassin's Creed, just chilling, hanging out, having a good time. We were in a mid chat about something. I was talking to somebody else in the stream. Well, this person somehow they were like, oh, I love your energy, da 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 da. And I was like, oh, are you a streamer? Blah blah blah, asking questions. You know, just doing a typical streamer thing, trying to really keep that engagement up. You know, more chats, more questions, da 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 da, back and forth. It's it's better for your algorithm, and it just creates a better experience overall because nobody wants to just sit there. And, you know, not too many streamers can get away with just sitting there and playing a the game. Yeah, like very very few can get away with that. They are out there. I envy them. Um, but, but, you know, you, you are entertaining. So, um, she was like, oh, I, I'm a, I actually work for caffeine. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Shug? Um, um, actually work for caffeine. And I was like, how do you just wake up one day and have a job at caffeine? Like, where did you apply? Where did you like, what, how do you get like the, that's like when people are like, yeah, I work at Google. Like, what like did you just like go to the google website dot careers and yeah you know like okay which is probably what happened yeah which is probably what happens it's probably not as complicated as people make it seem like it 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 probably is as simple as that well she now a part of me did not believe this person because i have interacted with a employee or at least maybe a higher up on the app on caffeine and this person they have a check mark next to their name 
mm-hmm. like like um, like on Twitter, like a like a actual official marker. This person didn't have an official marker, and I was sitting there and I was like, eh. but I learned early on online and just in general with dealing with people, you can you can only take people at face value at that moment in time. Of course, you can go back and do your research later. But at that moment in time, if you walk up to me and you tell me you're the queen of so-and-so country, all I can do is talk to you with respect. And, you know, it'd be cool if you're telling me the truth. But at the same time, I'm not going to donate to your country because I don't know if your country's real. Yeah. Uh, like, it, it just, you know, you don't want to be an idiot and you don't want to be a jerk. Like, there's a, you know. Well, you just got to take it for face value. You just take it for face value, man. That's You take it for, you take it. That's it. That's yeah, all you can do. That's all you can do. So. That's it. So I'm sitting here and I'm engaging with the person and I'm just asking questions. I'm actually, I was kind of asking questions to see if they would slip up, Mm -hmm. but I was also still just engaging and conversating. Like, Hey, you know, let me know you about your experience. Yeah. Well, she really was vibing with me and she was like, you know what? You're going to do great in here. You're going to go far. And I was like, dang, she's really talking like an HR person. (laughs) But what really threw it off is she just started dumping money on me. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. hey, what's up, David? Welcome, 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 everybody. Suge, David, I see you guys. How's it going? Welcome. And the chat is open. You guys feel free if you got any questions or you want to just jump in. It's it's there. Yeah. We're here. Um, and um, she just started dumping money on me. Like, first, it was like 150 props. And for those who don't know, caffeine props are a way to donate money through ca- the the streaming service. Yeah. Like, they're like, uh, they're little emotes. Like, they're emotes yeah. that have like a specific goal value. And then as you donate those emotes to your streamer, they acquire the props. And then you can convert them to cash mm-hmm. every, uh, every hundred dollars worth. Um, then you can get a, a disperse. Uh, you can get that dispersed to you. Hey, what's up, Gabe? But, um, but no, I, um, I uh, would trip me out was she, first she donated, and I'm excited because first off, you took the time to donate your hard-earned money to me. And all I'm doing is playing video games and talking, which is something I was going to do anyway. Mm-hmm. So that that created that dope situation. But then, so we're laughing, we're talking, and she uh, she kept going. Boom. Another money. Boom, boom. Then she hit me with like 1500 Boom. And I was like, wait a minute. I was <laughs> What's like, happening this? here? Yeah, I was like, hold on. Because uh, I want to say she legit donated like twenty dollars, over twenty dollars worth of uh, props. Yeah, like it was an easy over twenty dollars worth of money in that time that she was there, and then she ended up following me. And usually, what I've noticed on there is people follow kind of easy, like getting follows on caffeine at this point in the in its infancy is really simple. It's not a it's not a super complicated thing. Yeah. Um, so for her to give me money before she followed, let me know that she actually really may be an who employee. She, who she is, yeah. Yeah, who she said she was. I was like, okay, this this is starting to really add up. Because if I was an employee, I wouldn't go around following everybody. Oh, you know, like, course. that's something. I, I would donate. That'd be easy for me to do. But actual following, like, that, that's a little different. And then she finally was like, you know what? You're really entertaining. I'm really enjoying you. I'm going to follow you. And I was like, damn, I had to earn that. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. <laughs> but then, long story short, after I after the stream, oh, well, while she was on, I was like, you know what? Since you're here and you're giving me an honest ear and we're having a good conversation, I feel there's a few things that this program is missing. Mm-hmm. I was like, if there was some type of clipping method, and she was like, what's clipping? And I, let, I was like, damn, the fact that you don't know what clipping is, okay. I was like, well, clipping is just basically taking instant snapshots of recordings of like whether it's 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. It's like you snapping a previous moment in game and taking that ability to upload it to another social media platform or even to save it here on caffeine for us to upload later or for like, people to just view that one particular clip that one clip and i was like that'll be a good way to get engagement and have not only the chat and the viewers feel more involved but um for us to to capture dope moments and i explained to her i even switched over because i'm using my stream lab setup i switched over to my uh my just chatting page and i was like look i can clip and do all that here because I have a setup as so. Yeah. But I would love 
do it within caffeine yeah because that'd be less work on my computer less things open and what up gabe how's it going man much love man appreciate you bro um but um i really i really think it would be a um it'd be a game changer and then i told her i was like and then having a quicker access to more supported video games and she was like you know we are constantly working on the video games um join our discord and we'll talk about it blah 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 yeah. but then she was like with that flipping thing have you made a ticket for it and then when she said that i was like okay she works here okay like that i was like that is the most employee i don't know anybody who commits to a character that much in that chat environment to have like to i had somebody all of that. yeah i had somebody come in acting like taylor lautner into my chat it was the weirdest thing ever uh what's Why? up ashley <laughs> Uh yeah, I I don't know. They they jumped in and was acting like Taylor Lautner. I I was confused. I didn't get it, but I went with it. And I told him that I like in the Taylor Lautner person because I was talking as if I was talking to the real Taylor Lautner. Mm -hmm. If I was really talking to Taylor Lautner, if you're out there and you're listening, I want to see a Shark Boy and Lava Girl graphic <laughs> adult version. So I want to see where Lava Girl is killed. <laughs> and Shark Boy is like man. Hey, you tried to see, <laughs> you tried to see Bro, the, the... Hey, like real talk. I want to. That's what I want to see. I want to see a Shark Boy where he's like got a scar across his eye. He's got one eye and he's missing one of his fangs. No, you you and tried then, to see the the Logan version of the X Men. <laughs> yes, I want to see the Logan version of like I want Shark Boy and Lava Girl too. What's to going be the on, Logan Ashley? Version. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about caffeine and talking to employees. Caffeine is a streaming service, for those who don't know. And um, it, it's something we have we actually jumped over from Twitch. And I used to actually stream live here on Facebook for a bit, yeah. but I just couldn't get it to work how I wanted to. That's the only reason I bounced. And but, that's, um, I'm not going to lie to you. That's why when you, when you brought the idea up of going to caffeine uh, and walk me through the process of going through it and it was just super plug and play for me i was like oh okay this is cool because now all i gotta do is click these buttons i don't have to unplug yeah. plug things in do all of that I click buttons to start my stream and that's that and then once it's up it's up i don't have to yeah. bother nothing i only have two or one other program up it, it just made it super easy for me and that's why i decided to make the jump over as well and it's yeah, new. It was, and I get to grow yeah. with them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bro, that was the big... I always told myself, and I think I've talked about this on stream before, and if not on stream, I I mean, probably the other podcast, whatever, but I told myself I was not going to miss any more big opportunities, mm -hmm. especially opportunities that um, cost me nothing but time. Yeah. It cost me nothing but time. I'm, it's not like I had to go buy new equipment. It's not like I had to start over. I literally just had to log in, create an account, and, and get started. That was Click it. Start. Download the program for the PC, and that was it. And that and, was it. And you probably even you you probably even use less power from your PC or your laptop oh, or bro. PC streaming the caffeine bro, than I would on t on uh, any other pl platform that you probably streamed on. I my I CPU. Have. Man, my CPUs are so low now that I feel like I can watch YouTube videos while live streaming, while gaming. Like, and and it's it's nuts because that was the one negative. Uh, Twitch would sometimes be a hog, um, and it, it was more or less because I was actually live streaming through OBS to Twitch. Yeah, so I got Twitch, OBS. OBS. You know, it's two layer running with caffeine and, and you needed stream uh, stream stream labels up you needed all of that stuff. yeah elements <clears> and <throat> all that now I'm piggybacking onto that so last night right before i went to sleep i was like you know what let me just check out this one guy's stream let me just see what's up i thank god i clicked on it i clicked on it and he was having a good time we were talking and then i followed and a stream uh, a label element popped up and it was like Baron Jones just followed. Hmm. I said, "Hold the phone!" <laughs> I, I was. It was like it was almost like one in the morning. I was like, "No, no, 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 no." I said, "Bro, 
how did you get stream la la stream labels to work on caffeine? He was like, oh, uh, he was like, so it's not stream labels. Uh -huh. It's a program these guys are creating, and it's an overlay on top of caffeine. Okay. I was like, what? And I was, he was like, yeah. I was like, so how did you do it? Hey, what up, Nick? What up, man? Um, and I was like, how did you do it? He was like, well, I'll send you the link. And that's the links I sent you. So okay. it's an up-and-coming program. I don't know if I'll use it because it's so new. And then I don't. It's a it's a super third party that's not necessarily backed by caffeine. And I would hate to like have my stuff hacked or so that's I may not utilize it, but that's what scared me because I got excited and I was like, wait a minute, we're getting closer and closer to Twitch. Mm -hmm. Like it's starting to it's starting to push. I'm like clipping it. But now, if, these things what I was getting ready to say it, but what if these things were is it going I guess that's a question for that would have been for him. Is this going to be exclusively for caffeine? As in, it's going to be integrated into it, not an outside, um, outside program that you would need to then input into this program that you would need to then input. It. You see what I'm saying? Like, is it going uh, to just that is the difference exactly? Because Twitch, most of the things that a lot of the things we utilize with Twitch are external sources that exactly. we tag on top of. Mm -hmm. So if this ends up being something that's simply within the app, that would make life a lot. Because that's the, simp this, once again, the simplicity, simplicity of is exactly. why caffeine is so perfect. And it works and it's beautiful and it's just freaking neat. Mm -hmm. And I it, it, it really, that's what I love about it that simplicity and I, i'll never i hope to really never get away from saying that i hope yeah. i say it and i constantly and able to say it from years down years to come uh caffeine needs to stay simple that's the golden goose because twitch even though it is doable i mean we did it we did it for years but going from twitch and i'm actually happy i did my time at twitch and then switch to caffeine so i can appreciate the simplicity of caffeine. Exactly. I I'm I loved my my experience with Twitch was dope. But what up, Donye? It was a it was a whole bunch of stuff. It was a whole bunch of things in there that I needed to get outside of Twitch. Like for example, yes. you got to get like or okay, let me say this. Like if you if you wanted to record your recordings. Because they, on Twitch, they do offer that. They will yeah. record your recordings for you. But then to re-download that, it was too much. It was. It Man. took forever to get your get your recording. I just did this. And then so, the, the quality wasn't that good. Exactly. So And it doesn't record. And then if you're a new streamer, it doesn't record at 1080p. You're only you're only stuck you're stuck at 720p, which is not bad. I, I totally understand yeah, yeah. that part. But, but it's bad when you download and then re-upload. Exactly. Because then you're pulling you're yeah. pulling from the 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 yeah. uh, the quality of it. So then I have to re-download that. So then it's like, all right, well, if I don't want to do that now, I'm gonna have to make my computer work ten times as hard. I'm gonna stream and record at and the same record. time. Oof, you see what I'm saying? Now it, the 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 streaming on caffeine is so minuscule that I can record without any frame loss, without any frames yep. dropped, without any um, overloading my encoder. And none, none of that stuff pops up anymore. So yep. I, and and then once again, how simple it is to just plug and play. Anybody can just plug and play on caffeine, and it's not only it. They don't just advertise only games on there. I mean, yeah, we, we said this the last time. It's Music artists on there. Well, my brother, my brother ain't into video games like that. When he he was like, "Oh, you stream on um." Thank you, thank you, thank you. When he he was like, "Oh, when you stream on uh caffeine, like, oh, do you just what are you doing music? Nah, I'm playing video games." He was like, "Oh, I thought it was just music because what you hear, you heard about a whole bunch of rappers that kind of yeah. got involved in it. It's a creative space, literally. That's Folks, all it for is." Those for those who want to, yeah, exactly. Like he just simplified caffeine. I mean, the other day I went from opening Pokemon cards that I picked up at the dollar store to, um, to legit. Oh, thank you. To legit 
playing a video game and streaming for like five hours. Um, actually, that was actually pretty cool, man. Yeah, God bless the dollar store. All right, the dollar I'm, tree. I'm cause... still mad. What kind of super dollar store do you got? Or dollar bro, tree? My you got? dollar, <laughs> bro, my, my dollar, dollar tree, tree sucks. Is fire. <laughs> my dollar tree is fire. Not only do they got all the fire snacks, but they also got the fire toys and collectibles. Bro, my, my... I, I bought I bought Hot Wheels for my nephew for Easter. My... He loves Hot Wheels, and they had official Hot Wheels at this dollar store, and they have some dope ones. My Dollar Tree sucks. They ain't got nothing in there. They ain't nothing in there for me. I don't see Pokemon cards. I don't see nothing. I don't see baseball cards. They don't even got uh they don't even got um the crush uh popsicles in there. I was trying to get my daughter some because she Oh, yeah. those were fire. Yeah, they don't have those in there. The crush soda mm -hmm. ices. Yep, no, oh, we ain't got man. nothing. They got old glass. That's it. <laughs> Right, and Dollar cooking Tree. utensils. <laughs> right, and hey, hey, no, um, oh hell yeah, I just sold something. Bam, thank but um, thank you. Right, um, no, Dollar Tree is bro. I went in there, so I just went to go buy hangers. I needed mm -hmm. more hangers, uh, which I probably don't need more hangers. I probably should get a, get rid of clothes, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, this uh, no lie, this lockdown has showed me how little. <laughs> clothing i actually need <laughs> i've probably wore like the same like five shirts but for the last because you ain't weeks. going nowhere i ain't going nowhere i ain't going nowhere like i've it. wore like one pair of pants like for the for the last three weeks i see it, anytime i step out the house the same pair of jeans see it, it super works for me because <laughs> that's how i like that's how i organize like my clothes like i have my around the house clothes which are my workout clothes right so and yeah. then when i, I wear a my self-made uniform to work so i don't wear nothing else but that so i got rid yeah, yeah. of i donated all my clothes right before i moved and Boy, i thought you hit a i thought you hit a i thought you hit a string or something guitar. yeah nah. i was like damn he play he got the he got the guitar <laughs> nah, nah. but um uh yeah I ended up getting rid of all my clothes and stuff and i don't have no clothes I got a gang of hangers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a gang of hangers. I, hey, like legit, I feel I feel silly for buying those hangers now because I probably really should have just got rid of clothes. You are gonna need them one I, day? No, I know I'm gonna need them, and I just like I, I need them now. Mm -hmm. But it just it was like I for what? Like, <laughs> where am I? Where am I going? I'm watching like the same four or five shirts over and over. Like the laundry is consistent of the same. You watch. Clothes. You watch every. Well, I mean, other than for like when you go when you go out into the world away from home, do you uh, wash once a week or? Um, honestly, it's yeah, I'd say once a week because yeah. we like me, I'm the type that'll go through my whole drawer of socks and underwear and undershirts. And it, that's how I gauge my laundry. Like once I'm like <laughs> down to two pair of drawers, it's like <laughs> it's time to wash. That's bad, man. Like, well, <laughs> hey, that's how I am. That's just that's just how I get out. That's bad. And no, but you I'm know like, what? Okay. It, it do work. It, it does work. I'm not going to front for uh, certain people. That's how they they gauge how to do laundry and stuff. I understand it. Me, I'm I don't know why I'm super OCD. Like I throw clothes in the dryer, or I throw all my clothes in the washer because it actually comes up to like two loads. My Friday night, so I get home at night and just take everything and shove it in the washer, put it on, go to sleep, wake up, take everything out, hang out what needs to be hung, and throw the rest in the dryer, gotcha. and I'm done. Laundry's gotcha. done. So yeah, I can't. I couldn't do that. That that would make me upset. Hey, no. Hey, like real talk. Um, and then also another thing is whenever the basket get full. But I'm a big ass dude, so mm -hmm. my clothes is huge. Yeah. You put three, you know, three pairs of three uh, pair of pant, pants. jeans in there. It's, it's full. It, yeah, a pair of jeans, two pair of pants, and a couple t shirts. Draw socks and then my kids' clothes and my wife's clothes. That's already a hey, what up, Chris? Like two loads that, right there. That's already yeah, that's already a load of clothes. Yeah. So um, but what I have noticed is I've been doing more like I've been like seriously domesticated. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been doing laundry like crazy. Like I just was scrubbing the <laughs> the uh the stove wait, and wiping wait. down appliances. He just said I'm super I'm super domesticated. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, this this lock hey, this lockdown ain't no joke, bro. Like, 
I, I can I can do this stay at home stuff. I I don't know how y'all dealing with it, but I I don't think it's bad. I kind of like this, bro. I uh, can like if somebody want to go out and, and breadwin and have me take care of the house, I'm with it. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, you know, I told Kylie I'm gonna just call her sugar mama. Like it, it's cool. She, I can live with that. She gonna take care of you. Yeah, just <laughs> look. I'll make sure this house straight. I'll cook. I've been cooking, cooking, cleaning. like I've been going to the grocery store and buying different cuts of meat. I'm not gonna I'm front when I to- when I called you today. He was like, "Oh, I'm just cleaning." I was like, "Cleaning." And there's Call of Duty out here. He's cleaning. Okay. <laughs> Call of Duty is out here. Still up. Hey, I didn't hear nothing about hey, the servers, but he cleaning. Hey, he, that's what he doing. Up. I don't want, no, no, I'm going to clean. Like, I, I was legit oiling the uh, the wood. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, really dusting. My man is and, cleaning. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, I, it, I'm shocked I ain't worked on the, the baseboards yet. Uh-huh. Like, it just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm like, hmm, that needs to be white. And then I like prep the toilet I, right before we started streaming. I was like, oh, let me let me put the Lysol chemical in there, in there. and it'll be ready be- about the time I'm done. <laughs> One flush, two scrubs. I'm solid. I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah, I'm, I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. I'll let it break down, and you know, I'll get in there and scrub it out. Yeah. But it's it's so. But that also comes just from like honestly how I grew up, like. You know, my mama had us cleaning. Yeah. Like, whether we did it all the time, it was just we we knew what to do. Like, I'm we're see, we're cleaning a lot more because of the whole yeah. thing. You know, kids is home. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. home. Well, I'm, you know, my schedule's still pretty much the same, but the kids is home now. They eating more. They in areas they never used to be in. Like, yeah. you ain't never sat in the living room this long. Go. <laughs> yeah, Get go out of here now. <laughs> but the. But hey. the my daughter looked at me, smooth looked at me, and was like, well, this is my room, too. I was like, Ooh. well, you kind of right, but what? I just t- started turning stuff off. I started hitting the breakers in the house. <laughs> yep, like, oh, the power don't work in here no more. Dang, well, you got to go to your, your space. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, so I tried to be, I try to pull fast ones on my kids. See, mm. what our generation, like, when we were young, you got to fool your brother into thinking they were playing the game because the controller like it just plugged in (laughs) and it either worked or it didn't Mm -hmm. that's what it was but now these controllers got big ass lights and man fancy colors and vibration to let you know what's going on so when my kids hold the controller they look at the lights like especially Mm -hmm. the playstation controller they look and they like uh yeah like daddy it's not working i'm like how you know you're not playing it's like no it don't look like yours and i'm like well it ain't gonna be like mine like you need to mind your business you ain't live long enough for your control he to said like go mine. somewhere yeah no. like, yeah like daddy can i play I'm like no i'm selfish yeah like, that, no. that don't that don't work daddy no. we gotta share i'm like not this that that don't work on the whole time <laughs> not even, you know what don't, you know don't even work on kids let me find it where is that i, I bought this thing specifically for I can't find it right now, but it's a little handheld thing with like 80 games on there. Like 80 Sega games. Oh, that's games. not enough. They want no, your game. Yeah, they want this. My daughter to this day, always asking me about Dragon Ball Z. Nah, man. Listen, like, man. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. Start. Play Sonic. Play this Sonic game. Yeah. Nope. Don't want to play Sonic. Don't want to play Mighty 8. They, she want to play Dragon Ball Z. She want to play Destiny. Yeah. You can, <laughs> can I play? Am I old enough to play Destiny yet? No, you're not. So, but one Bro. day, I'm, one day, one day, I'm gonna let her play, and she gonna. I'm pretty sure she gonna be a beast. And I'm now I'm gonna have to play, get her every Destiny thing I her get. All, yep, yep. See, no, nah, I'm good. Hey, like I ain't gonna lie. The big, the selfish part of me was nervous about getting my kids into gaming mm-hmm. because I was like, damn. I'm gonna come home and like they're gonna be sitting down playing my Xbox and I'm gonna be hot. Like, <laughs> or I'm, I'm like legit gonna stop my kids. Like, all right, hey, it's dad's turn. You need to go. Listen, you like, get you, up. You ain't never, you, as growing up, when you got home and your little brother was playing your game that didn't used to irritate Bro, you, they used to sit me over That the was the most irritating thing ever. But then I got to a point where, see, I got this weird weird and you know it Mm -hmm. if i i actually enjoy watching people play video games yeah but i have a hard time watching twitch don't ask me why i have a hard time watching twitch but in person i will sit on the couch and watch you play a game i i've done it i i mean i've watched you beat the hell out of metal gear solid 
Ooh, I'm thinking uh, about playing I it. I, I legit I'm thinking about playing it. Oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot is a good game to start with. Crash is All good, those yes. platformers, for those who are thinking about getting their kids into games, platformers and um uh, platformers are a good way to start something where it's only like three or four buttons for the entire game. You like, know what I've learned though? A five year old, like I'm just using my daughter as an example, a five year old can understand the patterns in a game like Sonic. Uh, because she I'm like just play. Don't ask me nothing. Yeah, yeah. Just play. Yeah, just yeah, see you where know? you get. And I'll tell her. I'll say, hey, you have to jump on top of that box, then jump again. And now she's learning the patterns to where she'll die, 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 and then start all over. And then she'll figure, okay, when I get to this bridge, I gotta jump. And then I gotta jump again. And then she was doing it. So I'm like, oh, okay, it was it was great. It the progression took like an hour, but but it was great to actually sit there and watch her do that. I'm not doing this again. I, you gotta so, catch me on a good day when I'm sitting on the couch. But to see because it the patience, like mm-hmm. it, it, it has to be there. So, bro, my oldest, she's three. She's now she plays Mario Kart. Okay, but trip out on this. So oh what really God. threw me off about... <laughs> is first she was first she was just like she couldn't comprehend that you, you got to hold a mm-hmm. drive. She was like I'm pressing it. I'm like no baby you're tapping it. Yeah. There's a difference. You're tapping A, you need to press and hold A. So that took forever, and I was getting frustrated, but I'm like, she three, she three, she three. <laughs> she, she three. So, <laughs> right? So then she finally got it, but then she couldn't comprehend to use her other hand to go the direction. To steer, So yeah. now praying for speech is just driving into a wall for 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Listen, you see oh, everything you damn, said? I, I still ain't beat I still ain't beat the first Crash Bandicoot, Nick. Still haven't beat it. I beat the first um, one, but yeah, your son beat one and three. Yo, that's he's hey, legit. That, that's he's legit. <laughs> Legend in our books mm-hmm. because that's ridiculous. I have but never no. beat a Mario. I've never beat a Mario. Yeah, I've never beat a Mario. I've never. Beat I've a Mario. never beat a Zelda. I've beat Zelda games. I think I beat all the ones that I've played. I'm gonna beat the Breath of the Wild one because it was super fast. Now let me tell then you. I'm gonna put I that, tell you about my, and then I'm gonna put that on my gaming resume. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my Breath of the Wild experience. No. First, let me finish with my daughter. Yeah. 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 So she. Um, so now I look over and she's gotten to the point to where she's like able to drive and stay on the road and go the right direction. Okay. But she's into the character like car design. Part. Yes. Yeah. And she's like doing different. I was like. Yeah. I didn't even know that was there. That they I was just, like, what the? They just added that in. That's actually, they have a crash racing racing game, and that's on there, too. Yeah, she's like, she's look, in, daddy, I'm doing a heart. And, so, like, she's doing the different pixels, and it's overlaying So you know what you need to get her then, right? You need to get her. I got to get her Minecraft. My, Minecraft, yeah, or one of those, like, Barbie Build-A-Thing games. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, a build some right. unicorn, create, like, paint the unicorn, whatever. I don't know. I've never played any of those games, never seen them. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I that's never been my thing. But yeah. I know that they're there. They're out there. They're out there for DS. I know they're out there for the DS, 3DS, and you'll probably be able to find one for Switch. But um, and it, it's... Oh, it's just funny how like our kid, like those are the. Th- I compare it. I always go. I always compare it to you. You can sit and fish in a game. I don't yeah, understand I it. If I'm not yeah. fishing for a purpose, like hey, I need this material to get this big gun <laughs> so I can beat this boss. I'm not doing it. You, oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna fish. You fish and caught the fish. same fish over and over again and was having a blast. I, I compare that. Time. I compare that to like our kids. Like, oh yeah, you you like driving backwards, huh? <laughs> Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> she got to a part. She got to a part where uh, you, it was just an infinite loop of off the cliff. Because you know sometimes and she just kept doing. And it. She just kept jumping off because she loved the animation did of you, the zoom out, then the zoom back in. So she just hey, kept. Did you have to stop watching? I walked away. <laughs> I walked away. I, I was like, I can't do this. Because I want to say... Not how you I, play the game. Exactly. That's that's what I want to say. Give me the controller. Let me help you. And then I'll get her right. But, you know, once again, oh, I got to remember, God. she's five. 
she doesn't understand it like that. This is her first yeah. time. Her hand that coordination isn't there. But yeah. when you said, this is fun, and you just <laughs> driving off the cliff, you've been in this match for 20 minutes, it ain't, they not even booting you back. They're not even, because you know, in some of the, the racing games, they'll, they'll boot you to a point you ahead. Yeah. Nah, I just, yeah. nah. Right off the cliff. <laughs> she was here to take hey, me. I couldn't, bro. I couldn't take it no more, man. And then, like, I'm hearing that, like, at the point when she was barely figured out how to uh, how to get the cars to go mm-hmm. on Mario Kart, she was running into the wall, and she'd be, like, holding the A button and talking to me and stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, baby, play your gear. Oh, my like, gosh. Or, or she would get across the finish line. I don't know how, but she'd get there. And then she'd be like, Daddy, I won. And I'd be like, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, I got <laughs> she see the three pop up or the two pop up or one of the numbers pop up and it's oh yeah. yeah. No. No. Uh, man. You, I be you getting, didn't win. You didn't get anywhere. I be, <laughs> Look, <laughs> be wanted to cuss my kids out. What are you doing? <laughs> like, Leave it alone. Get good. <laughs> but hey, 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 like, speaking on getting good. So are you about jumping, to get the scuff? No. Huh? No, no. <laughs> so how you gonna get good, dog? Hey, no. Okay, so the gulag and Call of Duty. Okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. Like, we've been playing a lot of Warzone. Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. been playing the living heck out of Warzone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like a lot of people in this chat right now, y'all have either played Warzone or a significant other in your life is playing Warzone. Or you heard about it. Uh, or you've heard about it. So it for those who don't know and live on Mars, it's a uh, it's a free to play extension battle royale that is in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare remake universe. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that's the most technical way I can. That put it. is probably the best way to put it. Um, I have. It's like I've gotten ten wins. So oh, I feel like he came on here to brag. He, oh yeah, he is. No, legit. no, 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 he no. Came no. on here to stunt. That was, no, that wasn't my original intention. Nah, I just I'm had to put two, it out there. Two percent. I got I'm ten 2%, wins. I'm two um, top one percent. Yeah, yeah, top one percent. I'm a one percenter in uh, in Call of Duty. You can you know Google me. Nah, go ahead, um, stunt, but, man. You came on here to sh- go on, shut it down. No, that that no, that wasn't. Th- <laughs> now I feel like I have to, but no, that wasn't the main purpose. The point I was trying to say is I need to get good, and it's, Nick said I'm playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's um, I'm not going to be able to play today. I, right? I, I said I wasn't going to play no more for a while. I said I was going to take a break. I Only reason I feel like I need to take a break is because my whole get down is the RPG game. I'm supposed to be playing RPG games. But for the past, like... Since COVID struck, COVID. I've been playing. <laughs> since COVID struck, I've been playing uh, the hell out of Warzone. I've been streaming the hell out of Warzone, and it's not a negative. Mm-hmm. It is a fun freaking game. Yeah. But I try my best to keep to a theme. Nick said it's either only two wins. Oh, see, no, but that's better. But you than... know, it's a trip. Yeah. Nick, with those two wins, you're probably in the top ten percent. Of all people who play Warzone, it's funny. The people who who the people who consistently win always win. Yeah. So it's on, the numbers are only with them. So you're you've literally found a four leaf clover if you got to win. Mm-hmm. Or not literally. I'm sorry. Remember, that was in the. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no. Those but, are the odds. One, yeah, but one. Um, and I didn't really get it until you look at um. I think at the time it was a couple. It was probably a week ago. Mm-hmm. I looked at the top Xbox players, and I think the top Xbox player had like four hundred wins, maybe. Well, that's a lot. Yes, that's a lot. But when you think about it, he has four hundred wins. I have ten wins, and I'm in the top one percent of yeah. everybody playing. I'm in the top one percent on Activision and Xbox. Mm-hmm. I so that means overall, once more people start winning, like more different people start winning, then it, the numbers will balance. Because think out. about it, yeah. we got three. Well, I got three wins. Y'all got five wins in yeah, one night. Yeah, we pulled night. five wins in one night. Yeah, and and that was, that was uh, nuts. Uh, quads. 
So, mm-hmm. and then I don't think it's broken down like, oh yeah, well, if whatever different uh, like solos, duos, whatever. I don't think it's broken down like that. I got no solo wins. I got I'm none. trash. The, solo. the best I got was 11th place, and that was literally. I think I did like 13th. I had to shut the stream off. That's how boring it was. I was just sitting in the room, L triggered. But um, if you get a win in this game, on, especially on solos, I think solos is the hardest because yep, there is, you know, there is no call outs. There is nobody watching your back. Uh, you get a win on solos, you have to instantly be like 1%. If you got 10 wins on teams, like trios and quads, and... I think a solo win weighs more. You see them? Exactly. So, I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people just need to play. And it's just... You you have to play this game over and over and over again to get a win. Like, some people and ain't never all... got a Fortnite win. Yeah. I've never, I've never got a pub. I don't think I've gotten a PUBG win. Yes, you did. I could. Oh, I did. Yeah, big dog. I'm lying. You carried. Big dog. Yeah, you carried. We got the YouTube video. <laughs> I'm a liar. We do got. We got a whole mm-hmm. YouTube video of you carrying us to victory. That was nice. That uh, was the most intense battle. <laughs> oh, because I was losing my mind. He's I'm like, talking shit. T, ah, T, yeah, don't move. Stop moving. Go. <laughs> hey, but no, but real talk. It, it's a uh, um um. Oh, you got fifth? Oh, damn. Yeah, see, that's way better than me. See, then. yeah, that's better uh, than me. I, I just, you, you know what? I'm going to get a to solo get a win. win bro. I, I'm going to get one, too. I'm going to get me one. I'm, you, to get a win in Warzone, I, it, it's it's I, more than just engaging. There, You have to, like, you can get a lot of kills and lose a lot. Mm-hmm. I know plenty of people who are like that. Like, I ran with a guy. And the rest of my party, they were pissed. They were like, dude, we do not want to run with this dude. He was engaging every second he got. That's and it put it it put us in rough positions. One point two. Everybody KD, was like 1. 2 KD. <laughs> No, well, th- that's yeah, your KD is high as hell. Um, and it's it's nuts, but here it is. I, I had to tell the guy when we lost, I was like, bro, we got sixth place, and that was with us like engaging. Mm-hmm. That's us shootouts. Popping up uh, those walls, getting really into it, like real shit. Like we was shooting, hiding, running, reviving, and we got sixth place. Yeah, I was like, bro, if you would have just slowed down and chill just a tad bit and let people kill each other, and then we come in and clean up, we could have won. See, it's different. People have different, uh, like it's different. It's like a different energy with this game. There you go again. I, I got to get something for this thing. But um, it's like a different energy. Some people want yeah. to get into as many engagements as possible and take their chances. Some people would rather the win. I'm kind of yeah. in between. I want to drop bodies. I want to. I want to got six, seven, eight. You know, it's 150 people on the map, and yeah. <laughs> it's not like oh yeah, this dude got on this specific gear, so he's harder to kill. No, nah, man, three shields, one headshot with a sniper. I'm cracking that yeah. shield. And then your life yeah. is mine after that. If you ain't got no more shit, right. so I, that's how I'm thinking. But I hey, know, mom. oh hey mama, I know I know better that when I'm playing with certain people, i.e., like when I'm playing with you, when I'm playing with the squad, um, it's slow down, you know. And my because this is my this is how I look at it. Oh yeah, we downed one. Okay, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm essential. <laughs> oh my god! My mom just called me a non-essential worker. And she said, put worker. I'm essential, mama. <laughs> Dang! I'm a contributing source to my household. That's best. I'm essential. <laughs> <laughs> I can't she look. Go to work. work. <laughs> look, love you too, mom. But it that is funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> hey, hey, no, but it's it's so crazy that dude, that is comedy. But it, it's so nuts that like the okay, the fact that we got so many wins, mm-hmm. I trip out on that. Like, I bro, I don't. It's a matter of don't have a win, and then how many we do have. 
But you got to gun skill is a part of it. Like that is a part of this game too. Like some people think like, for example, to start from the body and then raise your gun up to start to try to get a headshot. That is not easy. Like it's, it's no, not it's as not. easy what you know in certain games it is, but not in Call of Duty, because mm-hmm. in Call and of then Duty, drop shotting, uh, drop shotting, jump shotting, keep you know keeping the target in front of you, all of that stuff is a. So, what I was saying is that like when I'm playing with you guys, I got an all right, cool. Well, let me slow it down. But when I'm playing with people who want to rush, it's okay. Hey, I downed one, so we got the man advantage. Let's go kill them all. <laughs> So, <laughs> so everybody sprints forward, and that's that. I mean, either we win or somebody, you know, luck, rocket launcher, C4, all of that stuff plays a factor in it. And it's just, you know, game sense, game skill is a part of this as well, as, along, along with being strategic. And we won yeah. most of those games strategically. If you go back yes, and look at the 100%. recordings, we strategically won. We had high ground. Uh, nobody was behind us. We took care of our, all yeah. of our engagements. C4s, Claymores, we used it all. Rocket launchers, we, yep. <laughs> we used everything yep. we possibly could. So I'm not mad at uh, those wins. Do I yeah, Do I want more kills? Yeah. I don't, I think three, yeah, yeah. three kills is, three kills for 100 people, 150 people on the map, that's, that ain't enough. I'm that's, not satisfied. Look, that's, my, that's my average. If I could get three kills, I'm hyped. Like, Bro, if oh, you can get I one put kill, down three bodies. Listen, if, if you can get... If I get one kill with an execution, my day is made. If I can get well, two let me kills you. with a riot shield in one match, Ooh. my day is, my hey, day is made. <laughs> I will... For wins, I will get no kills and rock the riot shield. Because you understand being a support player. Hey, I, I've always understood being a support player. Nah. I feel like support players are absolutely not necessity. <laughs> they're, they're essential. essential. <laughs> they're essential. <laughs> um, no, because you really like to really get to a new level. Like you can win. Yeah, that's cool. You can win. You can get far. You can get kills. But to become a squad and become those dudes who get multiple wins, wins. somebody's got to sacrifice. Hmm. Somebody's got to be a sniper. That. First off, that's always been my role. I've always loved sniping. Yeah. Long distance, that's always been my thing. I've never, I don't think I've ever really been the, oh, give me the assault rifle, I'll play the front. Like that, I don't, that don't fit, that don't fit me. That is me. I love that. I, I, if either I'm going to die first or I'm going to get the kill first. Okay. That's, that's never me. been. <laughs> either it's first blood or no blood. That's, that's yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, I get nothing. <laughs> See, well, and, it's. And that's how that's how I've been. I, but I've been playing like that since SOCOM. I'm the guy yeah, to hit the spawn. I, I still I Desert Glory. Me and uh, Yo Dunn, shout out Dunn. Desert Glory, straight through. Uh, what was it? Ruins to the back of they spawn. I'm talking about no. I don't run grenades. I don't. All I got is my gun. That's it. One gun. No <laughs> secondary. So you got no. So you can run fast. Man, I'm sprinting back there. And I get, I just jump to the back and start shooting anybody I see getting shot. That's it. <laughs> I'm casting Nova two times back there. I'm not playing. And, and but then I trans when I started playing Call of Duty, it transitioned over into that. As in, like when you, you. Oh, you get, oh, you tell me I get more points for getting the first kill. Oh, where are they coming from? I'm full on sprint. So that's I've trans that's transitioned to every game, any shooter game that I play. I want to be in the first engagement because if if we trade, then it's one for one. If gotcha. I get the first blood and we have the man advantage, we're winning. We have the man advantage. Let's you know figure it out after that. But nah, let <laughs> me the, let me I'm tell you. Guy. Let me tell you my style. I've always enjoyed ruining people's day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like I will play Overwatch in a heart, not the game, but the position. Yeah, I will run Overwatch in a heartbeat. Like I got y'all, go. And then somebody See, trying to sneak up, that's and me. I'm like, oh, here they go. And you hear the clap, pow, <laughs> boop. See, Shield pop. I'm, but I, you know what? You know I'm always happy to play with you, you and Ant, because when I when I do, oh, he's over here, and I just start running and I go down. It's not like, dang man. 
suck. It, it's never that. It's always yeah. All right, well, let's go get Travis back up. Like <laughs> yeah, let's let's bring him back. <laughs> let's get we're him gonna, back. We're gonna hit him with a res. <laughs> hey, but no, it, it's a um. The best and then that whole idea, like that's why Assassin's Creed was always so fun to me mm. because it was legit. Like it. That game is my play style. Yeah. Like completely. Like I'm playing Odyssey right now. That's what I'm streaming. And um I just cleared a, a whole castle that should have been that I shouldn't have a fort that I shouldn't have been able to do. Uh -huh. And it took me like two hours because I was legit going in. All right, I can get him. Floop. Slows motion arrow. Killed him. And then I go hide. You you know what's and I nah, I couldn't do that. I was like, oh, y'all want this smoke? <laughs> ah! <laughs> he said, I'm going to assassinate one dude, but it's fisticuffs with it's, the rest. The rest is going to catch these hands. I rem when I beat Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, when I beat that game, because um, I platinumed it, I just, just had to let y'all know. Damn. That. Um, got all the feathers. I got all of them. Damn. But uh, when I beat that game, it was a part on there that I was stuck on. And it was oh, I was only stuck on it because I couldn't take my time, and so <laughs> I go I start the engagement, kill another guy. But then the rest of it is you gotta back up, like back up. Nah, I'm trying to get in your face. I'm in your grill. So they blocking all my hits, and then once they get me to a certain distance, they'll hit me, and then they'll kill me, and then I gotta do it all over again. But then I realize like slow it down, man. Like sometimes you have to be reserved. But in Call yeah. of Duty. Don't tell me that somebody's around that corner. I'm gonna go. He, I'm chasing. Yeah, I'm going after him because I just look at it like, man, high risk, high reward. I get the man down. It's a three v four. That's how I'm looking at it at least. But in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in Warzone, playing with you guys, it was like, hey, I would rather the win. All right, well, say less. That's all you need to say. Let's and, get the win. And you know, another big part for me with uh, with Warzone and why I like to play slower is. The time frame and like the the risk reward is is big, mm -hmm. but the problem is once you die, that's it. That's like, it. yeah, and it's like, damn it. But that's the that's the, that's the, the point the, of a battle royale. Yeah, exactly. Um, listen, the next time we play, this is my last point on this. The next time we play, this is probably and, gonna be like later in a bit. And I'm not playing later. The next time we play together, at least me and you, see yeah. what happens when I'm by myself. Just watch me. Okay. I don't care about nothing. I'm going to get this money and get y'all back. <laughs> said, murder! I'm running through doors. I'm, man, I don't care about nothing. Don't, see? Throw oh, hands oh, in the gulag. Throw hands in the gulag. He says, hey, I'm legit going to make a shirt. It's going to be a Nerds New R t t-shirt. It's going to say, catch me in the gulag. <laughs> please, sir. Please. <laughs> oh, okay. Catch me in the gulag. Hey, bro. Hey, that gulag is life, man. man. Hey, that was a game changer because that added a whole fun element. Like, Some I people never, don't like it. I was never... Oh, a lot of people don't like it. Yeah. I know more people who don't like it than do. But for me, I've never been a one-on-one -on -one guy. Like, I've never in all the Call of Duties, oh, catch me one-on-ones. Really? It's never... It's I've never... I was like, dude, I'm not here for that. Like Nick, Nick said no. he need an XL. Oh, see? Hey, <laughs> right? I, Nick, I got you. I got you. Message me your address, and I'll send you the design, and we'll make we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that a hey, comedy. I'm I'm really gonna do it. It's gonna be catch me in the gulag. Man, oh, I gotta, I I gotta figure gulag. out the design. I love all the. Oh guns. yeah, I think I love it's the shotguns. I just don't like when I get scraped. When when they when somebody scraped uh, me, and I, I don't get believe destroyed, it. I never believe it. I never. Let me tell you. Oh, we did, did we talk about the hackers before? Did yeah, we talk we about how we bad talked that was? about it uh, last episode. Did, but did I tell? Oh, I did I tell y'all I recorded a guy? Oh yeah, no, we didn't tell. We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk okay, about so that. this is I didn't realize we were almost to the end. Damn, this is yeah, yeah. fast. Um, I legit captured a guy. Hey, what's up, David? This is my old boss. This dude's the best. Hey, what's I going legit on? caught a dude who was hacking. In, in Call of Duty and like everybody he was killed spectating. me and you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah. What gate first? I thought he just had a heartbeat sensor because he was cornering Johnny as a guy we always run with. Mm -hmm. He was actually cornering him and he kept like popping up on his heartbeat sensor and airing out shots. Johnny was in a corner and he didn't he didn't like rush at him. And I was like, man, this guy really he must know you're there 
but he's afraid to engage and mm -hmm. i don't get it but then he placed a c4 what up dude what up david what up andrew um and i was like man he placed the c4 just perfect and i was like nah no way that's crazy like and then he rushed magically and got him. It was like it was way too neat. But I just oh, thought he was a like, you, okay. You're okay. So you're talking about that one. What about that the one, one where the guy was shooting through the? He was shooting through the. Uh, oh, from upstairs that was the work. through the wall. Yeah, that's oh, the one yeah, I got. Oh, oh, that was the most recent. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, we got murdered by guys shooting through the roof in Call of Duty mm -hmm. Warzone. They it when it panned to their screen killing us. He was shooting through the freaking ceiling. Like, and you can see the lights, you can see the fixtures. I've never seen a hack so bad. That was actually worse. That hack wasn't, it was visually worse than the one that uh, that guy shared. That one that went viral. Oh, where he, no, he had like, no, no, no. Yeah, because, well, you know what? Let me not say. I got to go back and watch the footage. Because when that dude killed, when he was killing people, he was getting headshots from like, from like miles away miles with this away thing. with this dude he was shooting me he shot you through buildings and then i ran in and he shot and killed me and i'm like whoa where was he i didn't even see nothing yeah and then you go back and he's shooting you through the floor i didn't check if it to see if it was uh if it was aimbot if it because you can visually see it sometimes didn't, it didn't it didn't seem like an aimbot yeah i think he just was literally sh being able to look through fixtures man which that was i I'm, Which I'm, is two different things. Because even after even after the game, I was like, you know what? What if it was just like a glitch? Like, what if he glitched it? And he was just milking. And he was it. just yeah. like, fuck, I'm here already, whatever. But then I'm like, nah, I don't believe it. Nah, after, there's, that no, was sus. I'm, I'm straight, it, you know. I tried to give it the benefit tough. of the doubt. But no, he shot me through the floor. And I was I was lost. I I, I just felt, you know, it was one of the moments where I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to get off. I'm going to Yeah, shake. like I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to no, the back. hacking has Kiddo been, was like, that, where's he at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiddo, the, he in the, the roof, dog. He in the roof. <laughs> Dude, the hacking was so... The hacking has gotten so bad that usually when it comes to hacking, my experiences with hacking in video games, it's always been... Uh, um, it's always been, oh, I heard about that. Mm hmm I, oh yeah, I, I watched a video on you. That. Rarely, but to, it, I've never experienced it, but or at least know, so openly to where I knew I was experiencing it. But an update: this on that, was bad. A lot of PC players are starting to not do the the cross play anymore. They're starting yeah. to turn it off and just strictly play on PlayStation because I don't want nobody wants to deal with that, and nobody wants to deal with somebody using aim. But but I I think people got that. People got that shit on PlayStation too, cause those obviously yeah. some sh like the Sorry one you were just talking about with Johnny. Suspect. No, yeah, that was that was no the most way, suspect. Bro. And you know what gave it away? What ruined him? He didn't have a heartbeat sensor. Mm -hmm. That's what busted him. Because at first I was like, "What well, a heartbeat sensor? This scenario makes sense. Yeah, map knowledge, because all the buildings are the same. Yep. they're just copy and paste it all over the place. So different map colors, knowledge, that's it. yeah, different colors. No, sometimes not even different colors. It literally is just different orientation. Mm -hmm. You got a few buildings that are different, like, like those, in those downtown, hotels in downtown. Yeah, yeah. they're you just got a few. shifted different places. There's a courtyard yeah. in the middle. It's like four of them. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, a little, a little bit of map knowledge and a heartbeat sensor. That situation with Johnny made sense. Mm -hmm. But what gave him away is we paid <laughs> attention, and he went. So not only did you know exactly where Johnny was, you couldn't have seen him because otherwise you would have shot him. You wouldn't have threw C four. Uh, okay. So now I specifically remember what you're talking about. That was when we were yes. in the bunker. When he was in the bunker. No, we were in downtown. It was the downtown one. Oh, okay. When, remember, the, um, and they, remember the bunker Oh, yeah, that one? bunker scenario. Yeah, that yeah. was whack, too. And I, nah, I don't believe but it. But no, so this dude, he killed him, killed Johnny. I was like, oh, man, we got to watch him because that was epic. That was a dope play. I don't mm. know how you knew he was there, but cool. So they're running, and then he goes outside, and then all of a sudden, he's cracking magical headshots. <laughs> and then his reticule placement was on point i yeah. was like how did you know he was there he all of a sudden oh boom cracked up and looked left and he's shooting two dudes he knocks one 
if his gun, if he had a sniper rifle, he would have killed him. Yeah. Knocks one, boom. And then the other dude jumps and then he magically places on. I was like, nah. And then all of a sudden we looked down at his his tactical. He had no heartbeat sensor. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that was so yeah, see. There's I, I'll be the first to admit that there's there's crack moments like where people have gotten yeah, some people just on. aim. You just you just on it for that moment. And um, but in this game, I question it all. I question yeah. everybody. Every time somebody kill me, I question it. Why? Because there's no anti-cheating software. Yep. So, Activision, get to it. Yeah, you know what kills me? My final point, because we're, we're hitting that uh, final recording point. Um, I hate when, with the shotguns. I hate the shotguns. <laughs> Only because... It's so inconsistent. I could hit you, I could hit you twice. Uh-huh. Now, regardless of where I hit you, I'm hitting you twice. I hit you with my with the Olympia or whatever that crap is called. Yeah. And I popped you twice. I seen two markers, but you shoot me once and I die. See, I was I, and I, I know mean, bullet placement means something on but, that, but oh, it still bothers the shit out of me. I, okay, so I was just watching a video on shotguns and um each shotgun well, most of the shotguns had different amount of pellets in it, right? Um True. and then um it was the dude, it, he was showing like the range, like what's a one shot kill range, what's not one shot kill range, but then also what's one, one shot kill range and how many pellets it takes for it to be a one shot kill for a headshot. Because I've cracked, mm. I've one shot headshot at people all the time sometimes. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. dang, why was one pop? How did, that, how did that happen? But it's distance, all that shit plays. Because I've been shot from a, in the gulag with that Olympia, that. Double barrel from one end of the hallway to the other end. I've been cracked one shot, and I'm sitting there lost. Like, yeah. mad at not only myself, but this dude. And I'm calling him a cheater. But then after yeah. watching that video, it kind of was like, okay, well, it's a shotgun, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't, so I just I need know. to get good is what you're telling Just spam, Just spam it, bro. Just yeah. You get the one that you roll like this. Just as soon as, you, as soon as you see it, it don't matter how far they are. Just... R trigger on they just go crazy on it. That's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do. That's what I was doing with the with the uh anytime they give me the the, the pistols, I just spam it. If I oh, see you, I'm just man. letting off. 13 the shots. The revolver and the, the revolver and the deagle, I am so trash with. Oh, and it's shit. it's because I can't aim with it. Mm -hmm. They just so clunky. It it just feels heavy and you're not even holding it. And then the game doesn't even do an amazing job of not making it feel heavy. Like, how do I feel more accurate with this giant rifle with no scope? <laughs> but then you give me this sh this pistol sure. that's about a foot long, yeah. and all of a sudden I can't Some shoot Some people it. are beasts with that thing. Yeah. I want to yeah, get a I've, Kimbo I've with it and, and just go stupid with it. That's what that's what Rasta, on, who streams on Facebook, that's what he runs, the See, Kimbo, Kimbo. Uh, Magnums. Mm -hmm. And he's rah, 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 rah. I'm like, God, you cowboy. But, but... Okay, folks, so um, for those who are listening to the podcast, uh, to the recording, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, check out all the links below and um, make sure to subscribe to us on Caffeine, on YouTube, our individual channels. Everywhere I want you to find me is Baron J67. Mm -hmm. And uh, same thing for me, XT Jones, uh, everywhere. But also the links, if you are watching this on YouTube, the links will be in the description below. Oh, Much love. Shout oh, out go ahead. Tone Deaf. Tone Deaf Network, the Network. family that broadcasts this across the universe. Man. Much love to those guys, man. We're going to have to get them into these uh, to these live streams one of these days. I know, I know. And, uh, we have to do another one with him. Yeah, we do got to do another check one with Tone. Check up on him, man. Um, See, and then we got to get with the rest of the family, Juan and everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, check out everything there. Tone Deaf Network. Uh, it's full of good podcasts. You got everything from nerd content and gaming content with us. And um, you got uh, life, drinking. Uh, every, honestly, the spectrum is wide. It's all there. Social justice. It's all there. Everything's everything. Everything. Social issues. All of it. All of it is there. Tone Deaf Network has the podcast for you. Um, wow, that was a good commercial. Was uh, I, I, was I did that. Good, I need man. to be paid. Yeah. Tone, I need to be paid for that plug. That was a good one. <laughs> you can clip that and put that on the shirt. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> right? But much love, y'all. Peace. Peace out.